In today's tutorial, we shall look at the differences between earthing and grounding. Overview of earthing. Benefit of earthing. Overview of grounding. Benefit of grounding. Comparison between earthing and grounding. All equipment with non-current carrying components, such as the equipment body, are linked to the ground electrode during earthing using an earth wire or earth strip. The equipment has been brought to zero potential in relation to the earth by earthing the equipment's body. When equipment malfunction occurs, the potential at the non-current parts of the equipment body increases, and when a person or animal touches the equipment body, they could receive an electric shock. The importance of electrical earthing. One that the earthing method eliminates leakage current from non-current carrying equipment bodies and protects both human and animal life. Additionally, the earthing discharges powerful lightning strikes to the ground and safeguards electronics against harm. 2. In the event that the equipment's insulation breaks during a failure, the earthing offers a low resistance channel for the fault currents. What is grounding? All of the equipment's current carrying components are grounded by connecting their earth wires to the earth electrode. The grounding offers the return path to fault current and protects the expensive components of our power system from damage. The three phases of the equipment's current become out of balance when a fault occurs in the power system equipment, and the fault current or out of balance current is discharged by the grounding earth. As a result, the current through all three stages is balanced. Electronic equipment and high voltage substations both use grounding. Electronic devices are the source of the static electricity. The buildup of charges on the metal components causes problems with the equipment's operation. The static charges are given a path by grounding, and grounded parts attain the same potential. This method is referred to as grounding. Benefits of grounding are 1. By grounding, surge voltage is released to the earth, eliminating its influence. 2. Overvoltage is discharged to the earth through grounding. 3. The grounding improves the safety and dependability of the equipment's operation. Comparison between the grounding and the earth. 1. Grounding involves connecting the equipment's current carrying components to the earth, while the equipment's non-current carrying components are linked to the earth during earthing. 2. The grounding are deployed for the load balancing of the power system during the fault situation while earthing are used for protection from electrical shock hazards. 3. The grounding point is situated between the equipment's neutral and the earth. While earthing is situated between the body of the equipment and the ground. 4. By protecting against unbalanced phase current caused by equipment failure, grounding safeguards the entire power system against malfunction. The earthing protects against shock for human life. 5. There is no zero potential at the grounding. There is zero potential in the earthing. 6. The grounding offers the current's return path. Electrical current is discharged to the earth by earthing. 7. Three different grounding techniques, including solid, resistance, and reactance grounding, are used. There are five ways to earth, including pipe, plate, rod, tap earthing, and strip earthing. 8. The wire used for grounding is black in color. The wire's color during earthing is green. 9. The unbalanced load caused by a defect is balanced by grounding. To reduce the risk of electrical shock, earthing is used. 10. Earthing is a preventative strategy, and grounding provides a backup method. Please like and subscribe for more videos.